All right, guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're playing Kane top lane versus a set. And for the runes, we got Conquer, Triumph, Alacrity last time. We got Biscuits Delivery and then also the Cosmic Insight. Now, recently, you guys have been noticing something that I've been uh, really enjoying playing with the Biscuits Cosmic setup. You know, even in uh, slightly more difficult matchups. I have a very specific reason for that. Uh, but basically, in short, it just allows you to snowball a lot better. So, like, Resolve gives you a stronger laning phase, where if you go Biscuits Cosmic or um, anything in that trim, it just allows you to scale, especially with uh, Cosmic for the, for the spells. So when you play with Ignite, you're having a fantastic time. You can reuse it much faster. So it's a bit more risky, I would say, but also very rewarding. Now, this is a really hard matchup. I'll just drop it out there. This matchup is extremely tough to play out. Uh, but if we stay very consistent, we should be all right. Uh, I didn't actually get it. Okay. So um, in this landing phase, I'm expecting a pretty bad early game, to be honest. It's probably rarely um, a chance that we can go for a trade, but I have an idea. So like Kane is a really hard scaling champ. Like he scales very, very hard. The second you make a lead, you can snowball it. Sidestep. Okay, quite decent, because we have my jungle topside. Wait a second. I think we can probably get a kill. Um, as long as it don't take too much damage right here. I've got the way of slow pushing into him. Oh, nice. I needed that very badly. Wow, he was trying to charge his W out. I could notice that. He was trying to fully charge it so he could then drop it on me. And I would take far too much. But we managed to outplay that stuff. That's nice. I uh, I felt like he even if that W is going to land, I'd probably still be fine. I should be okay. I'll live. Yeah. One sounds. Sorry to go back here. Okay, let's make it back. So, um, when you play Kane top lane, there's really only two builds that I would recommend uh, as of today. And that is most certainly going to be either uh, Tiamat or Eclipse. Now, um, hear me out on this. So, when you're playing Kane top, the difference between both of these items is that if you're buying Tiamat, you're going for Profit Hydra, most likely. It's what you're trying to get, so you can have maximum damage. Now, you only build this um, if you need to avoid lane. That's pretty much what it is. If you buy this item, you can farm between towers. You can permanently avoid laning phase. And you can scale twice as hard. Now, if you go Eclipse, it will give you lane 1v1 potential. And that's what we're going with this game. I think I can probably snowball the laning phase if I can get the item. Nice, I uh, I out outplayed it. Managed to dodge it entirely, so now we just have to wait for Seth to walk back into me. He's got about 50%, so... And, by the way, I still have my flash. He doesn't have flash anymore. If he hits W right now, I can flash his main source of damage. And, uh, we should be able to win. An enemy has been slain. We're about to get that level up. I'm looking to get level 6 right here. That would be fantastic if we do. Yep. Remember one thing. They have a Sejuani in their jungle. We just have to stay very patient. Remember the Sejuani. Of course, I'm not going to R that stuff. And we've got the perfect setup. And there you go. I'll play it. Wait a second. Say goodbye. See you later. Oh, I'm 
don't know if I'm gonna make it out. This will be tough. Okay, I managed to make it out. Hmm. My, uh, unfortunately, my jungler dies with it. I just go for one potion. That's really it. Man, this is going fantastic. So, we are in a very hard matchup, all right? The Kane versus Seth matchup is extremely difficult to play out. But we're already winning. We're already having a good time. We're already beating this guy. One versus one in the early game. That's nice. An enemy has been slain. I'm, uh, I'm actually very happy to see that. Because remember, like, Kane is a very hard scaling champ. I don't think I can cue this stuff. Uh, also, Sajuan is gonna move top here. Okay, I've got what I was looking for. The wave clear is incredible. Kane top is such an amazing champ for like an off meta champion right there's a reason why high elo has been uh playing kane top for the longest time and why it like it's been becoming like popular for an off meta champion there's a lot of reasons for it say goodbye i gotta keep moving though And there goes your wave. He lost the entire wave trying to chase me down. It didn't work because I'm Kane and I can walk through my walls. My Let's try. So now we are level 8. And he's level 7. Hold up. I can fight that stuff. I'll use my potion too. And there you go. Once again, beating up a very hard matchup. This matchup is not easy to play out. And we've got the whole wave. Let's go back here. I'm just going to go for one plate real quick so I can use that gold. I need like a little bit more. I'm thinking about not going for Eclipse anymore like I was planning on doing. But instead just going for Profen Hydra. Uh, cause we're already winning the lane too hard anyways. I'm gonna take this too, I think I can try it out. I'll have my item if I speedrun this wave. Uh, yeah, I have my item right now. Let's run back fast here. This will be a fantastic game, like we're snowballing top very hard in a matchup that we're not supposed to win early game. What is this? And we already have my Profane Hydra. Yes, you're a monster. Very okay. Scary. Let's go. I've got my upgrade right now, so we got our sweet like W knockup, which gives us again more 1v1 potential. Got my Profin Hydra, so now we can choose whether we want to fight Set or just avoid him entirely. Got AoE, which combines in my combo. And we're going to start playing really aggressive now. Let's walk off through the terrain. You can probably kind of guess what will happen from now on. Because I think I'm going to choose to avoid him so I can go for jungle camps and stuff. Got it. Let me also take this. Back top lane again, because I think... We could beat him. No, it's okay. Like we're basically trading 
my jungle for this. However, I would consider this ward any time of the week because my jungler is like 0 and 3, so he's not worth that much gold. I'm getting plates on top of that. And also, their uh, top laner does no longer get the cannon, so he's losing everything at the same time right now. I think that he doesn't have ultimate, so I think I could probably try and uh, 1v1 him once more. It's becoming a little bit too close, so I don't want to try anymore because I have about 75 mana and my W already cost me 70, so I could never 1v1 that stuff. Okay, let's go back here. So, we now have Profen Hydra. This, like, and we're also about to get into Lucidity Boost. So we can spam more. Uh, next item we go for will be... I'm thinking about Black Lever, but I'm also thinking about Eclipse. Uh, let's go with this. Yeah, unfortunately, Set is getting plates, which is very bad for my lane, of course. But there's nothing you can change about that. We actually got several plates on him, too. So it's okay. Like, this guy's really far behind anyways. Mm, okay, he's going in there. He's probably going to use R. Yep. I'm waiting out to cast my second R um, uh, right before um, the uh, right after the shield is gone out. So of course you don't want to press R too early if the shield from Seth is going to DK. You wait it out. You make sure that the shield will DK to the point where he loses the shield, and then you decide to go in with your second R. So you wait for the for the time, and you also don't position yourself on the right side for the ultimate in case he uses it. Now, unfortunately, we're being ganked probably by... We're probably 1v2 right now. Uh, not that for sure. Okay. Let's go for the uh, pickaxe. I'm going to see if I can maybe go bot in. Okay. I'm going to see if I can help bot lane from now on. Uh, so, uh, set isn't really worth that much anymore. It's still good for me to be top lane, by the way. So I can keep on farming set for the rest of the game. But I'm going to see if I can also maybe shut try down. and get shut down some bot lane myself. Shut down. I'll uh, give that a try. Hold up. I'll try and farm it. Uh... Uh, Jin can farm top if he wants, I'll just let him know he can do that. Let's push up the next wave. And let's see if we can also do maybe like a rotation to mid or top. So I'm thinking about pushing this out and then immediately going to, to top lane. Seems like someone's up here. I don't know if that's what I was thinking. I have a problem. Oh, is that Giovanni also going here? They, they're actually... They leave Set alone? They just leave him entirely alone? All by himself? First, like, two arranged. Huh. Okay, well, I, st I still got their swing for free, so whatever, man. Still a good trade. It's not that bad for me. Oh, both of my bot lanes are dying right here. A little bit of an overextent. Okay. Seems like we got a challenge right here at, um, 
these guys are probably tilted. Could maybe do a nice fight right here. Hold on. I'm on my way. Yep. The brand needs to chase him. No, Brand doesn't chase him. No, that's such a wasted opportunity. He allowed the saver to cancel. Uh. Uh, my support has no idea what he just did right there. If he chased down ADC, right? And just staying outside range, I could literally walk up to saver for free and kill him. But Brand just ignored it. And he just let him walk away. That's unfortunate. I could have easily killed that saver. With a little bit of confidence. It's okay. I'll wait up for the wave. Um, yeah, I better avoid that one too. I think that there's more people involved. That's, that's why I'm trying to avoid him. Still don't see where people are, which makes it extremely difficult. Thank you. I'm not pressing R for him. Let's go back fast. I'll make sure that bot lane's gonna be fine. Perhaps I'm uh, also considering going for a little bit of anti heal despite already having ignite. Uh, it's just it's just a consideration because they have Silas for healing, they have Swain for healing, they have actually a lot of healing in their team comp. So if I go for anything to counter that, like that could fix a lot of things. Their team fight is really strong, so I, I actually much rather like try and avoid these people. Let's go. Take the rep off too since it's not really uh it's not really being taken. I'll see if I can use Aurelia like sort of like a bait because I know they're moving towards Aurelia the second she starts pushing, so maybe we can use that. Now let's see how lucky we can be. I'll play, buddy. Let's try. I almost died. Seems like my setup has worked out. <laughs> Alright. Very nice. Uh, let's go top lane and quickly grab that wave before it goes down. I need to collect all of the XP right there. Can't afford to lose that. And we might actually get a free kills right there, maybe. Connected. Flame. That's a very nice brand uh, W. 
It was like a max range W and actually connected. Really nice. Could maybe start the Baron buff because as it turns out, it's uh, half of their team is dead right now, so. Need Briar. Okay, I'm about to go down. You better speed on this thing. Nice. I still need to collect some anti-heal. That's something that I shouldn't forget. So I'm thinking about uh, going for this and then into uh, into the chainsword. They're gonna go Drake. In like 35 seconds. I'll speed run the blue buff real fast and then we go. Get the fort to not have this. Okay, I'm 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 good to go here. There's probably more people. I'll better avoid that stuff. I'll just wait for my teammates. Probably. I think I could try it out, though. What? Wait, my Q didn't connect? Wait, no, no, no. I felt like it connected. Huh. Well, I, I guess it's probably the healing that did it. I guess he probably just healed at the same time. So it felt like I didn't know that much. I, I need anti-heal very badly. This is proof that I need anti-heal. Anti-heal is the solution. And uh, I'll just sell this. Let's get the Warhammer. That's our valley W. Okay, let's retry the same thing. The Drake is still standing. I can't ping anymore. <clears throat> I don't think we're gonna make it. timing Wow, I cannot believe this. <laughs> no way. That's so close. Wait a second. No one here? Well, we've got uh, we've got the anti heal item completed. The only thing that we now need is I think either Black Beaver or Shojin. That's all we're missing.
trade, really? I don't think we're catching this guy either, because I think, I suspect there's more people involved. Yeah. Still have ultimate. I didn't use my R. Didn't have to use my R actually. I love how unbelievably broken King can be in a late game. So nice. Yeah, I uh, think it's going to be uh, probably Black Lever, I think, uh, for the last item. Would probably make a lot of sense in this game. Or Shoujin. They're actually both really good. I'll oh, back off. I have no interest. Second. Yeah, I couldn't change that. I tried to. I hit like three people with my W. I was thinking about queuing directly through all three. <laughs> that Jin is so unlucky, man. <laughs> I think Jin is dead too. That's so sad for him. All of that effort that Jin put into trying to beat a full tank, and he's actually escaping with 10 HP. Let's go, man. That's the, that's the tanks that I remember. Yeah. Love that. And <laughs> she blocked the Briar ultimate uh, with a saber W. Let's go, man. Or E whatever. <laughs> Alright, dude. I need to have like 100 gold and I can finish up the Black Lever. So let's go ahead and quickly grab it. This is a little bit of a risk I'm taking because if I take this camp, they could actually go Baron buff. So I'm just gonna test my luck out. Forget about the camp here. The Sivir is overextending. How fat is she again? Oh, 13. Okay, I knew that she was really fat. To be honest with you, I was thinking I could 1v2. This makes me want to buy Death Stance, bro. After what I've just seen here. I'll probably swap around my lucidity with Death Stance. <laughs> Look at that damage. It's mostly auto attacks. The thing is, we don't have any armor. That's why she does so much. So if you, if we ev eventually buy that stance, it will uh, fix the problem. <laughs> An A's. Let's go, man. <laughs> Let's go. All right. That set's not gonna last a long time, right? Here, if you continue pushing. Could be other people involved. I did land. Still R. Pick that up for the HP. Centuries, 
Hmm. So we need to team to group up, and that's really it. I wonder if they would know if we're doing Baron or not. I think it's probably it's probably got like a billion wards. That's why they don't show at the moment. There's one there. Is it teleporting bot lane? The, this set is like teleporting straight up to the side lane. It's it it doesn't really help them that much. Oh, my other teaming gets caught over there. Yeah, really, it's gonna die. Yeah, that might actually be Baron Call. We need to run fast before they do it. Yeah, I figured out they were going to start it. I think we have a problem. They are doing it just like I expected. And I had no teammates ready here. I knew they were doing it. That's why I pinged for that. But I was the only guy moving. I knew that was happening. I knew that that was their plan, dude. Uh, I guess that's game over. Bro. I don't know if this may or may not be a loss right now. But like... Remember early game my entire team were all mega losing man. Look how far we've come. Look how far dude We're absolutely maxed out here I think we still have one chance because we're spawning in 25 and they still have to take this tower down Let's see Yeah, of course the uh, rally is not gonna beat that stuff. It's like one versus five I think this might still be the game, to be honest. I think it's over. Yeah, it is. Nah, I don't think we can change anything. Now, they're actually finishing the game. Yeah. Well, we've got it really far, man. We were mega fed. Hey, this is Kane uh, top lane. Thank you so much for watching today's Kane video. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.